This is the future. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvalo Grimm here and welcome back to another video where we're going to sit back, relax today, get angry together at the update 5.2 and the trash fire that it, it truly was. I mean there's not a lot of bad stuff tied to this, but there's one bad stuff that pretty much makes up for a hundred of bad things they could have done. So we're going to get into that. First of all we're going to talk about the good stuff that was implemented just because we get that straight out of the way real quick so we can get to talking about the bad stuff afterwards we're going to talk about the things that we keep asking for and not getting because they don't give a crap about that i'll tell you towards the end what they give a crap about putting into the game and then we're going to talk about all the bad stuff that was introduced with this update Okay, so first up we got the Deathstroke turret attack, now it's not the same as the SWAT, and this is arguable. Like, look, I've played with it, it feels weird, it feels very weird, but that's because I was used to the previous state of things. It kind of feels at the same time kind of smooth, so I guess I'll grow to love this feature, so I'm going to put this at good stuff. New arena for new players, that's pretty much granted for it every single update. We got new soul rates, that's, I think, an inherently good thing to some extent. We got unusual gameplay uh, fixes in league rates, and now Deathstroke no longer sees uh, multiple health pulls on Brainiac, and you can actually use him against Brainiac without getting unusual gameplay. And we got this slow motion after character dies, Not, I don't remember if this was in raids and soul raids, because as you know I never lose characters in raids and soul raids, they, they just never die for me, I don't know how you do it guys, but for me they just... Never, never die. I just didn't pay attention. But yeah, in Arena, at the very least, you're going to get the slow motion when a character from you dies or from the enemy. Right now, I, I don't know how to feel about this feature, but yet again, it seems to be one of those features that I might grow to like in the past. Now, that's it for the good stuff, and a lot of the good stuff is kind of questionable, too. Now, what we didn't get, and we keep asking for it every single update, XP sliders in the leaks, or nope, nope, you, you're gonna keep wasting the time of your day to click that shit a million times. XP capsules in arenas, or nah, bro, do you, do you look like you got 30k XP arena medals that you have nothing to do with? Yes, I do. And no arenas to refresh either, I literally have nothing to spend my arena medals on, that currency is null for me and for a lot of other people. League founding list, nah, bro, you gotta sort it out yourself. Like, can't you guess who founded and not? Can't we work on trust in 2000, almost 22? Do we really have to have a founding list for the league rates? Bro, just put that day. People have been asking for a full founding list for the league rates since the league rates have been released. And the Joker as Betrink has not been fixed and this most likely gonna stay like this. Excuse me, it's gonna work as intended like this. Now getting into the bad stuff. So first up, I got Battle Lapse Nerf. Look, to be honest, I was kind of expecting it. Like, it's kind of a split because with Brainiac Beta Club, it was a no-brainer. Anybody with uh, an IQ above 80 could do it. But uh, with the uh, not using Brainiac with the Beta Club, that actually required some skill, some gameplay, and led to some interesting stuff. And I'm sorry that has been taken out of the game, honestly. But I was kind of expecting that. But at the same time, as I said in the past, this is not a PvP game. We're not competing against anybody, except for League Raids. But in League Raids, the rewards are kind of useless after some point anyway. So I don't really see points for nerfs. I, I see the point for buffs only. Don't, don't bring down good characters. Bring the bad characters up to the standard of good characters and good artifacts. Next thing, artifact stats don't split. Like, look, this is yet again not inherently a bad thing. This is not inherently a bad thing because pretty much the same way that the artifacts work in Dawn of Apocalypse. And with the artifacts that don't split bonuses, you pretty much have to, uh, after some point, put the Soul Raid artifact specific on your damage dealer so he gets bonus stack. But the upside of that is that you get to use any artifacts you want on the other two characters because it will not impact your... Um, uh, passive attack stats. The downside of it is that you don't get to put uh, your best damage dealing artifact like Beta Club on your damage or Dark Metal cards and have something uh, in exchange uh, on the other stuff to buff up the stats. Like there's upsides and downsides to both of these. With the artifacts being like this and not splitting you could make the argument that you need far less resources to have the peak performance because you'll only need one artifact at level 10 to get the full bonus out of the passive attack that you get in Soul Raids. So yeah, my biggest problem with this is make up your damn mind, make all the soul rates work. Why? At this point, I'm starting to kind of speculate. I'm starting to put a, a tinfoil hat on and be like, 
Oh, they're just they're just doing this as a test to see if artifacts like this or artifacts with split stats are gonna make them more money. They're just throwing that in there to vibe check on us. Which one of them makes more money for them? Because I, I literally can't explain this any other way. And the Android login nightmare, like this is so bad from many points of view. If you're on iOS, you might not have heard about this, but though you most likely have heard about this. On Android, in order to log into your account, you had to play through the tutorial. And after you're done with the tutorial, go into the settings and log into your Google account. If you want to swap accounts, like you got two accounts, every single time you need to switch from main to secondary, you need to uninstall and just to mobile, reinstall it, play through the tutorial and log in on the chosen account. And now look, I know it's, it's very dumb to do that. And I have not done it. I still have both of my accounts for the record. But when you're going to log into your Google account, it's going to ask you, do you want the progress that you had previously or do you want to keep the progress that you made now bind it to your account? If you click to keep the account that you just made now, your main account progress will be wiped out. And I know, I know it's almost to the point where you could argue, well, if you did that, that's on you. But at the same time, no matter how dumb it is, no matter how unlikely that thing to happen is, it's only one click away. It's a thing that's only one click away yeah, that can ruin your account. And it's not something that happened because you messed up something or you went out of your way to do something and this happens. It's not because things went wrong on your end. It's a choice that they put in front of you, the people who designed the game, the people whose best interest should be that after a 10, not not 10, I think it was 12 hour maintenance. After 12 hour maintenance, you, you, you should just have a smooth time getting to the game. No, bro, you have to play a tutorial and then there's a slim chance that you, if you misclick, you just wipe the progress through your entire account. How many accounts have been wiped because of this shit? There has to be somebody that did not click there by mistake, but misclicked or something. How many players did quit? Because there might be some new players that have been playing for one or two weeks and they might be like, ah, bro, account progress wiped, uh, I'm out. Or people who are aware that they could recover their account, but that were at that, at that point, I'm not even gonna bother. How many people left the game because of this shit? How much money did you lose, my dudes? Like, look, it's, not, it's mostly about the, the people who you made this to be a very bad experience for, but at the same time, you're losing money on this. Get your shit together. Spend more money and hire proper people who know how to properly develop mobile games without you log being logged out of your account, having to replay the tutorial and having a chance to get your account wiped, okay? I think that's the bare minimum that we can all agree should happen. And at the end of everything, if you look at things this way, because look, on one hand, new character, new stories for everybody, that, that's good. We, we will also get hush, by the way. So that's also one of the good things, because that character has been uh, coming for three months. But uh, if you look from their perspective, because that, that's important to do in situations like this. If you look from their perspective, soul rates and new characters are currently their main way of making money. With soul rate artifacts, soul rates, new characters. What did they do for this update? Like, in total, for the most part. They added money into the game, and they fixed the money that they added into the game with the previous updates. I don't know, man. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, some people are really confused and can't make the difference between those two things. The game is very enjoyable still. Having a good time playing the game. I enjoy sharing my experience playing the game with you guys. Having a great time streaming with you guys. I do very much enjoy the game, but the people developing it... Boy, this doesn't feel like a game developed by a serious publication. This this feels like a university project. Like, boy, get, get your shit together, my dudes. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. That was it for this video. This has been, I think, the worst update because of the Android login nightmare. The worst update in the history of Injustice World and might have been the update that lost them the most players and the most money. But yeah, all that being said, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe, comment down below your opinion, let me know what you think about this whole debacle, and like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if it isn't, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, and, and subscribe if you if you can, that, that would be great. This is the future.